Hello, Hateless Gaming here, bringing you another EVE Online guide. Today we have missile support skills. Uh, what missile support skills are is they help your missiles do more stuff. It is very exciting because they affect all missiles. I just jump right in. Uh, today I got the missiles tab open. We're going to go over what the support skills are. So it's not like the uh, heavy missiles or, li or light missiles. Uh, whatever missile type you're going to use, you're going to train the missile type. And that's going to give you 5% damage per level. So that's like the base skill. Uh, you don't only need to train that to use missiles. Uh, the first missile skill that you're going to want to look at. Maybe not the first. These aren't in any particular order of importance. You can decide which ones are most important to you. Uh, the the first one we're going to look at is guided missile precision. Uh, skill at, at precision missiles, homing proficiency. This skill increases the accuracy of a fired missile's exact point of impact, resulting in greater damage to small five uh, small targets. Five percent decrease per level in the factor of signature radius for all missile launcher ex or missile explosions. This effectively uh, reduces your explosion where is it the explosion radius so if you have this to five we got a a five percent decrease you're gonna have only 75 percent of the radius to deal with because it's gonna reduce it by 25 percent so that's that's very big going from 20 to 15 for example is a very big change in the explosion radius especially when you're fighting smaller targets so that's that's what guided missile precision does for you uh, the second skill we're going to look at is Missile Bombardment and Missile Projection. They're actually right next to each other, and that's good because they both do a very similar thing. The first one uh, gives you a 10% bonus to maximum flight time, which increases your range by a little bit. It's about a 5% increase in your range per level. And then Missile Projection increases the uh, missile's max velocity by 10%. Again, it's going to be about a 5% increase to range for each level, so you increase both these. You're going to get about a 50% increase in your range over the boat uh, uh, base. Uh, what what you do anytime to figure out the range your missiles are going to go is you take its maximum velocity and you, you multiply it by its flight time, which should be right above it. So these missiles will go a total of about 2.4 or 4.4 kilometers. So that, 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 that's how you figure out your, your missile velocity. Uh, again, increasing them both, both will increase your range. Uh, missile launcher operation gives you a flat 2% uh, bonus to the rate of fire per level. So you end up with an uh, increase of 10% rate of fire. In this case, I believe that ends up, I can't remember the exact time that it takes the two seconds down to. But it takes 10% off of what that'd be 120 seconds, so that'd be 12 seconds less. We'd be looking at a minute, uh, it, yeah, wait, no, it'd be 0.2 seconds less because 2.0, it, it would be a 1.8 second launcher rate of fire. So that's that's what rapid launch does, it, or um, sorry, that's what missile launcher operation does, is it decreases the rate of fire per skill. The next skill would be lap rapid launch. This is another 3% uh, bonus to the launcher rate of fire. If you train both rapid launch and missile launcher operation, you're looking at a 25% increase to your rate of fire. And again, this fix, uh, all these skills affect all missiles, uh, torpedoes, crews, heavy, heavy assault, rockets, tor uh, rockets and, and light missiles. It, it, it affects everything. The, the next skill that we're going to go over is Target Navigation Prediction, which is a 10% uh, decrease per level of the factor of target velocity per missiles. Uh, the stat that that affects is going to be Explosion Velocity. It will increase the Explosion Velocity. A higher Explosion Velocity allows the ship to, or the, the rocket to apply more damage to a moving target and is quite helpful. And then the last one is going to be Warhead Upgrades. Uh, it's another flat damage increase of 2%. So we're looking at a total of 10% more damage once this is trained to 5. Uh, like I said, these affect all of the missiles. If you're using missiles, training these skills up to at least 4 is a really good idea. Uh, if, if you only use missiles and don't use anything else, I'd probably train these to 5. Uh, as you can see, I got a cut most of them to five and some of them to ten. Uh, I I trained the shorter skills first, and then I I trained the the longer skills last. So uh, that's what I have for you guys. Everybody, fly dangerous. 
Have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Or in the last one. In whichever order you're watching this. YouTube is confusing, guys. Said help!